What's up, buddy? It's what Jim, and let's do a Crash Bandicoot on the run gameplay and thoughts video. This is going to be unscripted, so um, please bear with me if there are some some things I forgot to forget to mention about the good for the game and for the bad for the game. But that being said, let's do a couple of minutes on Crash on the Run first. So welcome to Crash on the Run. It's a game made by King, who make quite a lot of other mo mobile games as well. But this is the hub area for Crash on the Run. Uh, this game is free, but there are microtransactions in the game to buy stuff like extra materials, outfits, other things like that. And you can also play as Coco in a game. It's not just Crash. But this this game is, is free, and it's very similar to Temple Run. I think it's better than Temple Run, in my opinion. I was just about to face Fake Crash, but... I want this video to be quite spoiler free, so I won't show you that. This is the uh, Nitro Lab, where you get your materials to make things like, to make items like Nitro Serums, uh, Nitro Bomb. This, these two are locked for me. Uh, so I go ahead and you know, just put them in there, and I have to wait 59 seconds in order to get that item. If you want to speed it up, you can use one of your crystals, one of your power crystals to get that. I don't like that you have to wait around, uh, I think, I don't mind it too much, but I feel like sometimes you have to wait too long, you can wait up to 20 minutes for specific items, like, you see the egg there, that takes 20 minutes to get one of them, uh, but enough rambling, let's get started with one, well, let us just do it, the, one of the endless runner parts of the game, we'll do Turtle Woods, why not, that's the first hub area you, you start the game in. But I've been on the game on well every day for a week, and I think that's too much. I think this is a game we would do twice a week at most. I do also love the graphics for this game. I think they're very very nice. The game is very very fun to play, but there is another problem I've got with the game being that the endless run apart does get very repetitive. the The scenery is is of course going to get repetitive, but all the gameplay just uh, feels very samey and. Uh, it does, you know, it does get a bit repetitive. That's why I think twice a week is more than enough for you on the game. There are also boss fight levels. Don't, don't, those ones don't get repetitive because they've got quite varied gameplay and they're not endless runners. I also like that you can choose left and right and each one gives you different things if you go left or right. But in, in, in that one, if you went left, that takes you back to the home area. There are also checkpoints you get, which if you uh, die, you just have to get spawned to the nearest checkpoint. If you're not hit a checkpoint crate, you're going to have to do it all the way from the beginning. Or from when where you last got a checkpoint crate. I think you've got unlimited lives, so I think if you... So as many times as you die, you would spawn t to the uh, nearest checkpoint. Don't quote me on that, I'm not 100% sure. But it is a very fun, relaxing, and it can be quite addictive, the game, but you wouldn't do it too much. But I'm very pleasantly surprised with this. I wouldn't expect too much from a mobile game, but it, uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised with it. I do apologise if it's a bit too loud, the video, but this is the checkpoint crate I'm at. And um, we're now going to the home area because there's not really too much else to really show you. I got the microtransactions to get the biker crash outfit, in case you saw that I had that unlocked at the beginning. Uh, and you can also watch videos, double the materials you've got. Um, or get other materials that you want. If you go into here, you can see all the different outfits and stuff you can buy. I'm saving up for the retro crash, which doesn't look like it's here anymore, but it, I'm sure it will come around eventually. But you've got a, li a, a limited amount of time. Well, yeah, I mean, a limited, not unlimited, if I said that. You've got a limited amount of time to get all these um, items before they they are gone. I don't know if they're gone and that's it. Or whether they will come back eventually. I'm not 100% sure on that. But if you if you know, you can let me know in the comment section below. 
but that's that's all the things I've really got to show you for Crash on the Run. It is a very fun game. I would recommend it. Like 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 I said, the game is free. It's not going to cost you anything. Uh, and yeah, that's all I've got to show you for the gameplay side of things for Crash on the Run. So that is it for the gameplay of Crash on the Run. Now I'll give my final thoughts on it. Um, overall, it, it is a great game. I would rate it an 8 out of 10. I would recommend it. Whether you're a Crash fan, whether you like Temple Run, or whether you just like mo mobile games. I was very pleasantly surprised with it. Um, I wasn't expecting too much from it when it was first revealed, but it is one of my favourite mo mo mobile games I've played in a while. I'm not the biggest fan of them, so it was a, it was a you know, great pleasant surprise for me. Um, there are some problems with the game, like cut, not cutscenes. Uh, be there's no yeah, there's no cutscenes in the game. Um, there's also other problems being that, but when when you make something with the materials, it takes too long for it to be made, and um, the end the end of run apart could be a bit more varied. But overall, I mean, it is a free game. The these complaints I've got are very very minor, and it is a very fun game. It is very addictive. Um, and I think you don't have to be a Crash fan to like the game. I love all the outfits in the game. Uh, I like that you can play as Coco as well. And I think the villains that you that you face are pretty cool. So, and 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 I think and the graph the graphics are very good for the mobile game as well. But that's all I'm going to mention for Crash on the Run. Um, please please have a go at the game. Let let me know what you think on it. And um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys on my video, on my next video, which should be on Tuesday. Anyway, until then, ciao and bye.